Uh, hi friends, uh, this is Saturday morning 10 a.m. I would like to make a video on the I, jobs, job market in USA. It's not about how to get full-time job for uh, international students here. It is how to get, how to apply for the jobs, for uh, especially for h one base and uh, probably green card also. So I love to show you outside uh, how it looks, the weather before I make the video inside the house. Friends, I am making a video on how to apply for uh, jobs, I mean the job market in uh, US also. Example, I am working in a client in uh, New York. So, if you go to that client side, so here are the questions how to apply online for OPTs and H1Bs. I am not uh, stressing here. It is for purely H1Bs and uh, how to apply for full time that will come in the next video and uh, C2C Corp to Corp and uh, full time jobs with US clients. H1B sponsorship with salaries, networking guys uh, who will stay in India. I mean the idea uh, to expose is like uh, if salaries for networking guys in, in USA is very uh, high compared to India but it is less to the locals and uh, who will stay in India if the, the 8 hours work and uh, this kind of salaries and now wherever you work generally what I work so I subscribe HX careers So I subscribed, so uh, because I subscribed, so this is what I uh, subscribe here. You can also go and subscribe, then you get emails like this. Okay, then click here. So need to open here, page X career. So now, network administrator and uh, sure payroll. So let me read the Description Network Administrator plays official role in providing highly available computing environment for sure payrolls, customers and internal users. So this is the job description. So this is somewhat I handled when I was in Mindtree in India 2006-8 or earlier days during the networking days during Novel. Now it is Microsoft and Cisco server point I mean and uh, networking devices point. So oh, and now most of the stuff is in uh, virtualization and uh, VMware I mean and uh, cloud. No qualifications. So high school diploma required and then associate bachelor's degree preferred. So local I believe local BTEC guys also can apply for this job. See if you feel you are qualified you can apply. Uh, immigration status all that is secondary and hiring manager call for the interview right and then valid driver's license required that means you must be in USA to apply this job and location is in Illinois here is the hiring manager name salary is this much so 8 hours work 2000 hours in a year uh, anything extra is over time as per h one b rules and then so minimum salary is 52000 so when i start my career 1995 i didn't get any salary later i start searching for paid jobs salary right so and the last drawn is uh, 500 bucks a month in India, maybe 2008. So I read a post. It says one dollar 25 cents is hourly pay for IT guys in India. So here is 25 minimum. Prevailing wage is 45. Uh, as example, I'm giving in New York City because I'm in New York state. So minimum is uh, 52,850 dollars. And this is a maximum for this level three network engineering almost 100k so if a guy getting in india or outside america very less and having this experience then definitely he will think of 
coming to us there is nothing wrong to aspire for america or western nations okay let's go this is open date that is 26th february right 2016 and today is 27th so the moment it opens whoever knows internally they will submit their resumes but uh, the most of the american corporations the rule is you have to apply online so later you can refer resume internally to him to the hiring manager and uh, this is the request id okay so apply now so this is how you have to apply provided if you are in usa and you have minimum of 7 years experience this is about a job opening in esc paycheck client in illinois chicago and uh, esc right so now what happens is uh, indian links or whoever so they get resumes for example i am looking for a job so if i apply for a job or for example a guy is looking for a job so they put 7 years and send it so his interview will attend by somebody telephone taking the interview in person if they call then that would be good because face to face they know right that's all but let us go for the positive side so many ask me how to apply online so i'm documenting or digitalizing that process for uh, especially for opts and cpts but this is for uh, h1bs or green cards or us citizens or uh, locals right to that for that particular job but you cannot apply for this job from india because they ask for local driving license right so that's what and when you what i am saying is when you start your career btech first year so take up ccie course curriculum so four years one hour a day you study then try to get a networking job btech or non btech it doesn't matter and then after you get the job uh, work it seven years six years five years whatever then you try for h1b but unfortunately no indian ink is um, doing h1b filing free that is one second is through tcs or in infosys indian companies for example you are a person a is here and example i am writing tcs or will set up then indian company names okay indian outsourcing company and then here is a esa client so fortunately uh, is come indian companies do not know Uh, this client i don't know but the tcs and scl already occupied jerax uh, jerax is a company located here so here is the scenario for example you are person b okay and then indian ink uh, everybody violating rules and now pv means i am mean, prime vendor here pv might be the top 10 indian companies or americans if it is americans i explained several times what are the good positive things uh, like getting x one b extension letters on time ot on time and all that and then us a client so point clear right this is h one b rule but here candidate c for example and then indian ink Indian Ink is a H1B employer, but here he forwarded to his friend one, who is a GC holder. He forwarded to two, and for example, my I informed to my friend, then he will take the resume uh, like that. So then he will forward it another layer. See how many layers? Each one take dollar twenty to dollar forty five a cut of your salary, and then they will submit to PV. If it is Indian PV, prime vendor, so they submit. these two are nexus definitely they take the money and then esc client so if for example this job i am not explaining in specific this is a general scenario i am giving okay after you for this time i may need to open for one month probably they get thousands of resumes but they will pick up the 
we were applying only in the first 10 or a qualified one so they have their own procedure to select and of course they have a prime vendors also so they will also send right at least thousand to two thousand to three thousand resumes they get i explained in one video how they receive resumes american I mean, clients so after getting it so the, the like this so this is what happens if it is a preview from america safe but if it is from india they expect you to work beyond eight hours no ot and uh, you know, all kind of dirty politics they play so that is where she is going to die on the onset she is not a employee of um, american top 10 companies okay so she might be an international student she might be an h1b student h1b guy that is one scenario so what i am saying is this is book rule if you are from an h1b if you are from indian inc your indian inc responsibility to get a job here it doesn't matter uh, how he gets he has to get he or she has to get and place in there and the he informed to uscis saying that i pay him every month five thousand dollars it doesn't matter whether you have a client project or not but 100 percent nobody pay without client so if no client if you don't pay go to india and beg why do you bring guys here and uh, suck their blood right so this is the best case scenario of h1b book rules but very few have a luckily this chance for example i worked something like this in several projects and uh, dollar 135 hourly billing so you can imagine how much they take so this is after you pay tolls gas miles when you commute between two airports or different locations in new york right that's what i explained so now come to the your best scenario so like this so you apply so my employer is searching somebody said your employer is going to sleep in america he doesn't do anything for example kumar is here kumar doesn't take care of anybody because he knows because kumar also went through f1 or h1b board after getting green card he will start this so he knows that we will die or do or there is no do die to get a project so once he get a project he will take a cut that's it that's why no Indian employer sets any projects. That is one. I'm not generalizing, but fact. So now you have to apply the jobs. Now you understand that. Right? So for example, you are a international student and OPT. Then you have to verify it, whether it is e-verified or not. If it is not e-verified, then what happens? You may not get your OPT extension. One point one. Point two is if they haven't, they haven't mentioned here but still you have to apply so like that if you have laptop on internet why do you need a broker your broker is this guy they are all brokers vendors and all so you apply directly see for example you are a person d you have a opt or a cpt apply directly to usa client if you have a green card, same scenario, GC, right? Same scenario. If you have a green card, a temporary EAD card like H4 EAD, and then OPT EAD, this should be ideal scenario. So mostly, some clients, they have American Prime vendors, which you cannot avoid them. Then you have to go through them. So if you have anyone in between, then they are taking the taking your salary. So this you can't do. I mean, if client says you have to go through him, you have to go through him. Because client cannot pay directly to you. So if this is not the scenario, then somebody eating your salary, your dollars, eating your salary, drinking your blood, drinking your sweating. It is you at the onset. It is you take the maximum risk driving in snow whatever traveling from for example california to new york you come for a project so it is you right there's no one else so why do you if you die on the side 
नो बड़ी पे दिस गाइस मिडिल मैन नो बड़ी पे एनीवे सिंगल डाला सो इट इज योर मनी ओके सो इफ आई हैव ग्रीन कार्ड आई एम फॉर 500 के सो आई दैट इज अ रेंज यू हैव टू एम व्हाई डू यू नीड टू अलाउ अदर्स टू ड्रिंक ब्लड राइट दैट्स वन सो व्हेन कम्स टू कॉर्ट टू कॉर्ट मेनी पीपल डू नॉट नो व्हाट इज कॉर्ट टू कॉर्ट इट इज लाइक कॉर्ट टू कॉर्ट इज लाइक इज इट्स ओन बी बिजनेस मॉडल इट्स लाइक यू से कॉर्ट टू कॉर्ट फॉर दे कॉल सी टू सी इट इज लाइक एग्जाम्पल आई एम गिविंग आई हैव ए डाटर सो डाटर इज डाटर इज ये who is the father father is indian ink he will say court to court means to another broker you take my daughter use it but don't marry that is the condition of his court to court so you use him use her but return to me so, so how long until get a for 3 years on h1b right first h1b copy 3 years then if if he is father files a green card father means he here in indian so 10 to 15 years based on ab2 it is a slavery so everybody molest that girl or h1b for dollars because cop to cop is that how it works for example i work for kaiser in Maryland Silver Spring in 2009 for your information i'm revealing the hiring manager is from pakistan but he hired me and uh, recession it was fired 1800 contractors and 2000 employees and then uh, what happened we lost jobs then i uh, kaiser california manager uh, talked to this manager and they offered the job to me Kumar can come and join immediately. There is no interview required. But here PV is mass tech. That guy is saying they do not do court to court. That means they don't use, they marry and what, like H1B is. So he says H1B transfer. There is no word called transfer, but our guys introduce this. So he will say you will get 120K, what is there, come and join. So 2008 to 2010 situation people know how the market is here. So it shouldn't be transfers is not easy. I said I cannot go for a transfer. I please work with court to court with my employer. He said no. Then he is saying 120k for three months because three months it takes to get our H1B papers. One business day is enough to get a H1B receipt number. because you are here and they will provide file right in 10 days premium that also premium 10 business days 1000 dollars or whatever the fees employer payable anything is employer payable brother remember he is saying 3 months you get 120k so what is there you go back to india if you don't get a job so that's what he is saying then i said i didn't come to take risks like that i come to work for my employer i don't want to jump for few bucks just like another countries right uh, because i straight understand the recession and all so must take the this of some companies sir so you uh, if you have a question like h1 b transfer you have to wait until you get a full bunch of that h1 b papers rather than just one day you get receipt number and you start working and there is an rfe and uh, Uh, you, the current uh, future employer must uh, could not uh, clear that rfp at or unable to answer it and you cannot come back to your previous employer if he is good he will allow you right and uh, that's how you lose you have to finally exit the country but must take what they does like american prime vendors they will do excessive or extensive market marketing for your marketing is nothing but uh, forward your resume either fake or real to uh, thousands of vendors brokers or clients if they have at all so that's how they do and um, if not they will cancel the visa
I'm not sure whether they really do, but I heard from them. That is the experience. Uh, thanks for watching this video. I hope this information would be very informative and useful. And uh, this is the target auto apply. So go to paychex carries and then auto apply online. So go to like that. Example I gave you one client like then you go Microsoft, Facebook, carriers or type. That's what you have to do if you have a laptop on internet. Don't get up from the laptop until you get a job. So go there and keep applying. That's it. I will process, record the process later. How to apply like sitting with a guy and then I will see how he is applying and then how he got a job and all. How he hit the project. So this particular job because there is no... I talked to the uh, one of the guy in the recruitment team. He said since there is no immigration status mentioned, so not sure about hiring managers. So you please apply online and you see that's all. And you should be able to relocate also. Right? So you never know. I mean if you go with fake what happens? Uh, several resumes are fake, right? So they may fire you because your interview, Skype intro, telephone into attend by somebody, then you will get fired. But you will get your 15 days salary, right? 15 days is 5000 by off, 5000 dollars by of at least dollar 3000. So you lose taxes, and then for example, you get dollar 2000. But you are in Texas or California, travel to Illinois. I'm just giving an example. So you invested dollar 5000 for a project. If you are in far off and no car and all. So you get $2,000 since you have a loan, right? So if it is in the same city, you don't need to spend this much of money. So that's how guys struggle a lot. It's really pathetic. And I don't find them it is fault 100%. It is these guys fault. And all these. These are illegal layers as per USCAC rules. Understand? So that's what I, from 2008 to till date, I'm asking guys, uh, show your talent. Some is a talent, right? So if you get a job, full time job with uh, USA clients, so let us share the information to the world. Thanks for watching this video, and I wish you good luck.